Now, one of the most important things for a good night's sleep is, of course, your environment. So here to help us achieve a zen bedroom to keep us calm and relaxed are Colin and Justin. <laughs> A little With bit, love. but Come it's on, still no. good. I promise. Crazy. I'll just get this out of the way well, over you know, there. It is. It's not for looking at. It's for living in. It so is. This is fine. But it's beautiful. It is. Okay. Are you two good sleepers? Uh, oh, honestly, out like a light. The minute my head goes on the pillow, unless oh, I have other things to occupy God. myself, out like a light. Oh my God. <laughs> they actually you? call me the Pharaoh because yeah. I lie down on my back in bed like this, and I go. And then my alarm goes off, I go, that's a lie, Tracy. He's like, Mr. Octopus, <laughs> <laughs> black eyes. You'd think Justin was trying on hot pants in bed. He's like, oh. <laughs> Listen, as long as you're eventually getting a good night's sleep. No, we don't, we're not trouble, Tracy. We're super yeah. lucky. You go right down, and right that is down. so important. So <laughs> we need to talk about creating a space like this. It smells good. It looks good. It feels good. Talk to us about what we need to think about okay. when it comes to making that your bedroom sure. space. Sure. So this is a multi-sensory approach to yeah. making the perfect bedroom. And we've kind of gone for that real zen feel. Now, typically, when you think of zen, you think of all things Asian and maybe a large Buddha at the front of the bed. <laughs> right. Now, all of that's great. I love yeah. that. But I think zen has really kind have gone much much further now it's all about tranquility indulgence it's all about feeling completely cosseted at every single turn yeah. so that's the vibe we've tried to create here oh you're doing a good job on it so what are some of the elements that help create that uh, you know I think it's great to go back into kind of mo motifs that you associate with yes. Zen and uh, I mean the wall covering here this is by about murals a great Canadian company Beautiful. and we love this it's a Scandinavian take on a leaf motif yeah but for me it looks like a Japanese Japanese sand garden you know and you think Beautiful. about Buddhist monks way back when we'd actually use sand gardens and creating patterns in sand gardens as a form of meditation it so is, I think to yeah. get that on the wall as a texture scape and as a beautiful backdrop to all of this yeah. really works well you know and I think this is a great mix of greys and browns as well we don't normally yeah. put those two things together but I think it really works for this look the color palette is very calming see I'm trying to fix Keep all the tidy. stuff I did I'm <laughs> you didn't an iron in the audience right? like the <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit maybe about the yeah. fabric you okay. want to talk a little bit about the yeah sure uh, well Tracy this is an amazing bed it actually it's comes beautiful. from a brilliant Canadian company called Castle Life. Yes. Now Castle Life are just a fantastic resource for everything yeah. that you need to create a modern look, a traditional look, or in this application the whole kind of zen, really indulged feel. A lot of this stuff is Canadian Good. and they really excel in filling their store with really easy to get your hands on things which are made locally. So a soft mm. bed like this, no hard edges. How many this times have you cool. gone into a hotel room and you've got out of a platform bed and snag your tights Ugh. on that? You end up with a lacerated shin, which or is never a good look. your toe, oh. you it's don't a want bad any start to the None day. None of that is very zen, Tracy. No. So everything here is almost like a soft pitcher's mitt. Everything's really mm. soft and tactile. This lovely boucler, this lovely um, brocade, what's that called? It's so nice. Boucle fabric. Yeah, 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 yeah. fabric. That gorgeous boucle fabric is so textural. It's a touchy, feely feast for the finger. We yeah. love this. Love it too. I mean, it's about the layers, mm. you know, yes. and I think that is something. This whole look, it's not about being like screaming design. It's about being a little bit softer. So trying so to go nice. for a palette that's a bit gentler, get some textures in here. The yeah. bedding here is Colin and Justin Home at Home Sense. You do it what so else? well. Yes. You do Thank it you. so well. Bless it's fantastic. Agree. And I think the thing about this look is to go for that really pared down look as well. You know, yeah. sometimes you do a bed, it's very balanced, it's very big and busty and voluptuous. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yeah, I know. No, no, no. But I think, you know, with this one, <laughs> you, need, you need to have, have light and shades, okay? Right. You know, so there's a lot of flat planes as well. So you actually get this nice flatness there from having the exposed sheet. So make sure it's a beautiful mm. one. You're airing your bed. So yeah. it's actually healthier for you as well. True. And you don't have to do this balance. Look, I like the fact that we've used the pillows to create a shape at the top. Yeah. And it feels more like a day bed as well, you know. So yes. you could come in here in the afternoon, get a little cup of coffee and a book, and just tuck yourself away for a little quality zen moment. It's super yeah. important. Now, when I look at our room, Tracy, I'm thinking of every single area as a potential new area to layer the luxury. Mm -hmm. So this rug, again, from Castle Life, it's handmade. Now, sometimes you can buy a rug for $99. This is more expensive than that, but it's yeah. handmade 
hand loomed. And again, that really speaks to that whole knowledge of being good for the environment and you've yeah. really kind of indulged and spent money on something that's handmade and textural. And that feels it's good on so, your foot. Oh, your little you need toes. It to feel good on your toe toes. Even, even if your toes are like big old potatoes. <laughs> when they go down on Do that road. Do not get a shot of when, my big old no, potatoes. You've got dainty little <laughs> Just piglets. Just checking. Dainty I'll little piglets, Tracy. Right there, piglets. back in my slipper. But this is such a textural feast for the. Imagine getting out of this lovely soft bed of the mm. morning. Just roll right Getting your tootsies it. down there is so tactile. Lovely. Okay, can we just do a nod to the, the beautiful furniture here as well? Because we've got the great bed, but my mom always says the bed's for sleeping. Yes. Or other horizontal activity. The chair is for sitting. <laughs> yeah, like reading. Reading. <laughs> so you've got good chairs. Yeah, you know, the thing, the thing about Zen is that it's not about having loads of accessories. Yeah. It's about having less. Less is more. Right. And when you go down that route, it's really important that you make each item special yes. and I like little surprises unexpected treasures yeah. look at the back of that chair have a look at that it has oh, the most this beautiful good. belted leather belted yes. design on there so add little things that are special things that yeah. really make you uh, smile at home Absolutely. and then you're going to have this great feel good feel I'm going to take one of these belts and use it for my outfit isn't it gorgeous again <laughs> it's, it's very all nice. right. imagine just sitting there kind of running your fingers over that leather it's yeah, just an extra kind of tactile return yeah. now multi-sensory smells mm. aromas everything we've got this incredible artesias essential it's oil beautiful. just fantastic I mean, the smell from that is so potent. We've got Dr. Vranje's candles. It's a triple burn, no smoke candle. Nice. The detail like that is super important because you don't want to have this lovely scene of calm and then all of a sudden you're battling <laughs> through a smoke storm. You don't want that. Right. So detail like that is super important. Plants. Photosynthesis yes. to oxygenate yeah. the room. This is bamboo. Again, it's very auspicious and considered really good luck. Don't have cut flowers because cut flowers are dying. Right. Plants are growing, and there's a real difference. When you're nurturing something like that, yeah. you're really engaging with it. I love it. Can we talk lighting, which mm. is very important mm. in every room, but particularly the bedroom? Absolutely. Right. You know, and as Don't a man, look your best uh, as in a man in his mid 30s, I need That's to be well lit. How old's the other <laughs> leg, Colin? How old's the other leg, everybody, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I think. I think the golden rule with lighting, for all lighting, is yeah. to glow. Don't glare. Right. You know, you don't so want beautiful. a bulb in your face. You don't want to be squinting <laughs> around, you know. And, you know, honestly, let's be honest. Most people have one light in the center. They yeah. leave it on all evening. There's no mood. There's no atmosphere. Right. You know, these are perfect bedside lamps because there's no glare. You can't see the They're bulb. They're beautiful. But they actually yeah. illuminate the bedside area. So uh -huh. you get this warm, inviting glow. Very saying, nice. come to me, come to me. <laughs> order. Tracy, order. You don't want too much clutter, so make sure when you're yes. choosing bedside cabinets, nightstands, that yeah. they've got drawers, because then you can secrete all those bedtime paraphernalias, anything yes. that might make a buzz, a noise, shove it in the drawer. <laughs> no, I just mean in terms What's of like your about? clock radio, your music, all those things. <laughs> it's gotta be detailed. Okay, listen guys, I gotta do one of these. Oh, do it. The segment oh. is over. Oh no. That was very good. But it's nice to have those. Okay, it, actually it, before just one last thing. Music. Yeah, let's oh, talk music. Lord. You can do the beautiful sound bowls, oh. but I think it's nice to have music to put you to sleep. What, you, what have you got? You've got to think of things oral as well in a bedroom, so you're thinking about the <laughs> ears. The ears, Tracy! Oh. Oh. Tracy Moore! You, <laughs> used to be, you used to be as pure as a driven snow. Yeah, this show has ruined Then you drifted. Me. Yeah. So this, I, I think this is a Scottish <laughs> band, or a Scottish singer called Elizabeth Fraser. Yeah. And she's with a band called the, Talk, the Cocteau Twins. It's okay. really atmospheric, and it's a sequence of noises and oral dots and dashes, okay. and little panting noises and just really elegant soft oh yes. think of Enya yeah think of Kate Bush at yeah, her yeah, finest yeah. and then yes. add a little bit of Liz Fraser cocktail twins and your night's sleep will be the best yeah. ever Who have you got okay, there well, I'm <gasps> going for Sade oh your love is always 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 she will your love get is you in the zone <laughs> you're a smooth operator <laughs> smooth operator <laughs> Coast Actually, coast. no. Forget What's happening here at the moment, Tracy? Right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Beautiful Zen bedroom. I hope I'm allowed to leave that album there. Did I mess up the room?